What is up guys, BBD Boys here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to dice stack. So we're not gonna be going over tricks, we're not gonna be doing point stacking, double stacking, none of that stuff. We're just gonna be learning the basic stack. So the first step is finding the right cup, the right dice, and the right foundation. Those are very important when it comes to dice stacking. So for the dice, we use casino dice. These are the best dice that you can use because it's razor sharp edged, it's thicker than usual, and it's perfect for dice stacking. Now for the cup. Any plastic cup works, but 90 degree ones work best. And don't use glass, that will shatter. Now for the foundation. Foundation is also really important because if, as you can see, like wood is more smooth than concrete. Because if you were to use concrete, it would be all janky and it would ruin the cup and then you won't be able to dice stack as well or as straight. So that's why the foundation matters. So find a foundation that is smooth, that'll also help. Now the second step is picking up a dice. So we're just gonna start with one. You're going to, you're going to have your thumb here, uh, index finger on top, and then you're gonna have your other three fingers rest here. So it looks like this. Then you're going to place it at an angle like this, and then most people, when they learn how to dice stack, they don't know how to keep it in the cup, so it flies out like that. But instead, you want to turn the cup right away, so then it flies to the back and stays in the cup, like this. And the key is just not to stop, because guess what happens when you stop? It falls. And if you master this move, it would make dice stacking a ton easier because this is the main motion that you do. Once you feel comfortable with one, then you can move on to two. So, it's gonna be the same motion. So, finger positioning, diagonal angle, hit the cup, turn it, side to side. Same movements here. Hit the cup, turn it, side to side, and then put the cup down and have a strong finish. Once you master two, then you can go to three dice and then four. This takes a lot of practice. It doesn't work every single time, even I miss. I am thinking about making an advanced tutorial for this. Uh, it will be point stacking, and this is what it looks like. So point stacking is where you dice stack four, and then you dice stack another four on top, just like that. And I will do that if this video gets 50 likes. And also, we are working on trick shots from level one to level 100. And we don't have a lot of ideas, so would you please brainstorm and comment down below and give us some ideas, that would be very helpful. We would really appreciate that. Just keep practicing, and anyone can do it. It's just, it's just physics and practice.